Hello and welcome to another movie review, where is slander movies online, Fast and Furious, the one title you need to get your fans pants wet, we got this shit finally, I'm not gonna spoil FNF9, so uh, let's begin. So they blast off the race from 1989, we got some teenage of teenage life of Dom and some shit happens, fast forward to the present day, Dom's chilling with his family and son. They really don't care about, you know, growing the family stem in this movie. They mainly focused on the action more than the family. They speed run the family scenes. I I don't really see a problem with that problem with that it's good. The crew comes in and say Mr. Nobody was attacked. Blah blah. When we have to go take something from a crashed plane. Here's where the problem comes in. The action scenes. Some some scenes are so bizarre, like Tyrus Gibson straight off dodging bullets left and right and putting some bullets under his armpit and some shit. Nah, that and that didn't happen. But he was dodging bullets like it's some football or something. The whole Tyrus Gibson scene was a it's an harassment. What can I say? I was he said a lot of harsh shit. Tyrus Gibson, blah blah. I don't know, man. About that scene, I I really I'm not really a fan of that. Like, fucking blasting off some shit, dodging bullets and shooting everyone straight off the chest and some shit like that. Yeah, that was a bit wild. And I already, I don't even want to talk about it. A lot more a lot more action scenes. Lady dodges some bullets of her own. In comes John Cena to ruin the party. The first interaction between Vin Diesel and John Cena was kind of good. I liked it. it. The Fast and Furious way is it's great. With 30 minutes in, Cypher comes in and blah blah. I'm avoiding the spoilers by the way. Thank you very much. A few minutes later, Mia, Dom's sister, comes in and blasts us with the Brian's taking care of the children bomb. And I, I'm sorry for spoiling this. If you are waiting for uh, Paul Walker coming in with a, a CGI cameo with a blue car and stuff, it's not happening. I'm sorry. And we get to see some more things from Dom's past. Why Jacob, I mean John Cena and Dom started to dislike or blah blah each other. Fuck. The, the flashback was kind of good. Like, it had, you remember the guy from the Piggy Blinders? The Michael, the, the douchebag, the, the cousin of uh, Thomas Shelby? Yeah, that bitch. <laughs> that guy is the, that guy plays the teenage John Cena. He's, he did good. Yeah, he was good. The flashback was quite great. Uh, I kind of really liked it, if I have to be honest. A wholesome, kind of wholesome. I really loved it. And we got to see some um, part three. Part three, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, that kind of character. Three or four uh, characters from that movie. Yeah. And uh, they come in and comes uh, there in comes some regular cool ass dom moments to follow up oh boy oh boy we got some unexpected like i'm your father type of cameo i i don't want to spoil it like god damn i didn't expect Sp they it's a singer i don't want to spoil it okay and they keep invested yeah it's not like uh you you are near a edge of your seats and you're not like nah it's boring they keep you invested like some it's not bad it's kind of invested the action scenes are like you know there's always kind of kind of kid who tries to be funny all the time and a lot of jokes didn't didn't come out pretty well and some craps cracks you up a really well some jokes cracks you up really good this movie's like that they really trying to a lot of action scenes some didn't work out pretty well and some was really good some worked out I mean, he, yeah, he, is it better than Fate of the Furious 8? Uh, probably, you know, the rocks bit is missing, but yeah, it's still good. They take it to another level and some shit. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the trailer just gave away too much. What can I say? Uh, yeah, certain amount. 
is good and certain amount didn't agree the action scenes okay so what happened the action scenes some are good some are unrealistic some fuck science and john cena goes straight gta mode pulls someone from the car and gets his ride yeah some shit like that it was fun but some are unrealistic some are not really reaction scenes yeah some are badass it's fun and cool and some fuck signs as i already told they ruined they ruined the horn moment you know uh, you know the horn moment i don't want i they already spoiled it yeah they ruined it the trailer gives away too much real too much that's the main issue they give some star war references and to explain the villainism of the art of villainism in the movie and dom gets into the other realm and to realize the blah blah i don't want to really spoil it dom enters the other realm to realize blah blah about jacob and the moment the oh god to realize jacob who jacob really is and what really happened and yeah yeah the family thingy comes up that fired up that shit that shit smacks you right in the ass that shit slaps really good and and it comes yeah the sentiment worked really well and win diesel if win diesel say the word family your ancestors comes to your mind what can i say that man the face that's what he brings that's what he does to this franchise he's the mad lad he did it again and in this uh, like the all other movies shit slaps real real fucking good you ever heard about talking shit on taking shit to another level they try to do that i cannot say it really worked wonderfully well but i can say it's worth to watch they really tried hard and they give you everything and every single thing for fast and furious 10 spoilers it's not the kind of uh, movie you give ratings and stuff it's sit back and watch family entertainers you go in with a mindset of in for a good movie or else you expecting for some more as shit nah you you really will be disappointed you expecting for a good and normal entertainment you can get it you want some crazy ass shit uh eh, there is some crazy ass shit okay here's the point most people goes to fast and furious to get some booty and some cars you get some cars in this one no booties for you you go in for the booties you die uh, you are disappointed you will come out disappointed that's all i can say good film really you can give it a watch family friendly of course come on it's become too big you cannot be more sexual in these things anymore so it lost its sexual touch but still the cars are there yeah you get fast cars no booties for your cause it's a movie about family yeah family movie that's all it's a good film you can watch one time that's all i have to say good movie all about that movie i'll give it a yeah uh nah you don't give monks to family go and watch it you can seriously watch it that's all for today thanks for watching see ya